Good morning. Today we'll practice short but sweet little morning yoga flow. So grab your mat and let's begin. Standing with your feet together at the front of your mat, rolling the shoulders up and over, warming them up for your practice. Take an inhale in, bringing the arms up. Exhale, forward folding to Uttanasana. Inhale, lifting up halfway with a flat back. And exhale, jump or step back and going through Vinyasa. You can either do Ashtanga Namaskar or go through Fulun Chaturanga. We'll meet in a downward facing dog. You can walk your heels here one at a time. It's probably the first downward dog of the day. So just warm up the hamstrings a little bit and be gentle with your body. When you're ready, take an inhale in and then with an exhale, jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring your body all the way up and exhale, release the hands to the heart center. And again, inhale, bring the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, jump a step back and again going through vinyasa. So we're going for our little sun salutations, which are great to practice in the morning, to warm up the body, awaken your body and set you up for a good day. Remember to breathe in and breathe out nice and strong. Inhale, bending the knees and jumping to the front of the mat. Going for a halfway lift and then exhaling to Uttanasana. On your next inhale, with your core engaged, come all the way up, looking towards the palm of your hands. Exhale, release them to your heart center. Inhale, bringing the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Stepping, jumping back. Exhale, lowering to Chaturanga Tandasana. Inhale, Uttanukha Svanasana. And exhale, Adhanukha Svanasana. Use your hands to press against the mat to really elongate the spine and try to keep your spine as straight as possible. If you need to, you can lift the heels off your mat. Bend in the knees, inhale, looking forward, and exhale, jumping to the front of the mat. Lift up halfway first with a flat back, and then exhale into Uttanasana. Again, you want to make sure that you're bending from the hips. You can also do a little core engagement by placing the palms a little further away and lifting up on a tiptoe, slightly engaging the lower abdominal muscles. To warm up and stretch out those hamstrings, you can bend one knee at a time. Using your breath here with an exhale, see if you can bend forward a little bit more. And with your next exhale, just bend forward and hold the pose for a few more breaths. Inhale, look up halfway. And then on your next inhale, come all the way up. With your hands at the heart center, Bending the knees, inhale, bring the arms up overhead, coming into chair pose. Tuck your tailbone under a little bit and your weight should be towards your heels rather than your toes. Exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, jump back, go through Vinyasa, Chaturanga Tandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, over the toes and exhale, downward facing dog. You should begin to feel a lot more comfortable in the pose and notice the difference between the beginning and to now. Inhale, raise up your right leg and then exhale, bring it all the way to the front of the mat. Once you got your balance, inhale and bring the arms up overhead in a high lunge. Exhale, release the hands back down to the mat, stepping the right leg back, keeping it up and going for vinyasa. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hold the pose here for a moment, just realigning the spine. And then inhale, raise up the left leg. Exhale, step it all the way to the front of the mat. Inhale, raise your upper body up, coming into a high lunge. Exhale, hands in a mat. And stepping your left leg back, back keeping it up in the air, going for vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then roll over the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here you can turn your toes slightly inward so that your legs are internally rotated. Using your hands to press against the mat, lengthening the spine. And inhale, look forward, bending the knees and with an exhale, jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. And then bending the knees first and on your next inhale, 
Raise up your upper body, coming into chair pose. Hold the pose on your next inhale, and on your next inhale, you can raise all the way up and releasing the hands back to your heart center with an exhale. Once again, inhale, raise up the hands overhead. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on a mat, step or jump back and lowering down into Chaturanga Tanasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, over the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to do a little wave flow, coming into the plank, lift your tailbone up towards the sky, coming into downward facing dog. And then lifting up on your tiptoes, rolling over into the plank. And with an inhale, arching the back slightly, coming up and over into downward facing dog. And then again, coming into the plank. Use your breath as you go through those movements and also make sure that your core is nice and engaged. These are great little flows to warm up the spine and your core muscles. In the preparation for the poses coming up next. From a downward facing dog, inhale, raise up the right leg and exhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow. Inhale, right leg out, exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow this time. Inhale, extend the leg and exhale, touch the forehead. Inhale, extend the leg out last time, exhale, release it down. Moving into the plank and lowering down into Chaturanga Tandasana. Inhale, roll over into upward facing dog, shoulders back and your chest is nice and open and exhale into downward facing dog. Whenever you're ready, inhale, raise up your left leg and then exhale, bring your left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, extend the leg out and with an exhale, bring the left knee to your right elbow. Inhale, extend the leg out once more and with an exhale, bring your knee to your forehead. Inhale, kick the leg back out and with an exhale, lower it back to the mat, coming into downward facing dog. Inhale, gently move into the plank and we go for yet another vinyasa. With an exhale, lower down into chaturanga, elbows are close to the body. Inhale, upward facing dog and then over the toes, downward facing dog. You should certainly feel nice and warm at this point. With an inhale, look forward, bend the knees and jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring the arms up all the way overhead. Exhale, release at your heart center. Inhale, bring your arms up again. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, bending from the hips with your legs straight if possible. Inhale, halfway lift, bending the knees, stepping or jumping back into plank, lowering down into Chaturanga with an exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog with your shoulders back, roll over the toes to downward facing dog with an exhale. Inhale, come over to a plank and then moving to a side plank, balancing on your left arm, raising up your right arm overhead and keeping your core and legs nicely engaged. Keep pushing your hips up towards the sky and make sure you breathe. With an exhale, you can release the right arm back to the mat, coming into the plank and we go for another vinyasa. Chaturanga Tandasana, inhale Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, exhale over the toes Adho Mukha Svanasana. Coming into plank once more and this time balancing on the right arm in a side plank. With an inhale, you can raise up the left arm overhead, core is engaged, hips are pushed upward and the legs are also active. Exhale, release the left arm back to the mat and with another exhale, lower down into Chaturanga and Tadasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale over the toes and downward facing dog. Your shoulders are probably burning at this point, but know that you're doing great. So well done, we're almost there. With an inhale, look forward, bend the knees, jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift up, exhale, lower down into Uttanasana. With the next inhale, come all the way up, bringing the arms up overhead. Exhale, release them to your heart center. From Tadasana, inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, bending in the hips. Inhale, halfway lift flat back and then hands on a mat, exhale, we're going to jump or step back into the plank and with an exhale, lower down into Chaturanga Tandasana, inhale Uddhva Mukha Svanasana and over the toes, exhale, downward facing dog, bending at the hips, your core is nice and active. With the next exhale, you can slowly lower down to a dolphin with your forearms on a mat rather than your hands. This is a great stretch to open up the chest and the shoulders. Inhale, raise up the right leg and hold the pose. Make sure you breathe as you do so. 
and exhale, release it back to the mat. When you're ready, with the next inhale, raise up the left leg. So imagine you're trying to push your chest towards your thighs. Everything is nice and active. Exhale, release the left leg back to the mat. And then raise up, coming for a plank. Exhale, lower down into Chaturanga Tandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Over the toes and downward facing dog. Exhale, lower down into dolphin once more. And then inhale, lift up. Coming into plank, moving gently forward. And exhale, Chaturanga Tandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog again lowering the forearms down to the mat inhale lift them up moving into the plank moving forward exhale chaturanga tandasana inhale upward facing dog over the toes exhale downward facing dog one more you can do it exhale lower the elbows back to the mat once more in a dolphin and then inhale to downward facing dog, coming through the plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Tandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Over the toes, core engaged. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done! That wasn't easy. Hold the pose and we're going to do one more little chest opener here. So you're just really trying to almost bring your chest to touch your thighs and trying to keep your arms active and engaged. You should definitely feel the stretch in your chest and probably along your arms. And then inhale, coming to the plank. Exhale, lower down into Chaturanga Tandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, over the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bending the knees and inhale, jump or step to the front of your mat, lifting up halfway with the back flat and then exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead and then exhale, release the arms towards the right, twisting towards the right. Inhale, bring your arms back up, twisting towards the left, exhale, release the arms. Inhale, turning towards the right, exhale, release the hands. Inhale, twisting towards the left, exhale, release the arms down. Inhale, bring them up overhead once more. Exhale, release the arms behind your back and interlace your fingers. You can bend the knees here and bend forward or you can keep your legs straight if your flexibility allows you. Allow the gravity to bring your arms up over your head, almost like you want to touch the ground and keep squeezing your shoulder blades in and opening up through the chest. Gently release the hands back to the mat, roll all the way up, one vertebrae at a time to come to standing Tadasana. Well done, there wasn't an easy 12 minutes but you've done a great job. You should feel nice and energized, ready for the rest of the day. I hope you enjoyed the class and I would love to hear from you. So please subscribe and leave me comments and let me know what you think. I'll be posting more classes coming up soon. If you have a special request for a particular class, let me know in a comment. Thank you again. I hope you enjoyed the little quick class and you have a wonderful day. Namaste.